hey guys and welcome back to another video so today's video i am going to be unboxing my cricut easy press 2 from martha stewart so i purchased this because i want to make stickers and not stickers you hear me i want to make um t-shirts so i want to put things on t-shirts so i thought i can start off with this first to see if i could get the hang of it um and please feel free if um, you can give me some ideas or anything you may want to share with me down in the, um, the, on the comment section below. So I got this one, which is a special edition bundle, the 9x9, and I got it in gold. I figured I needed to change up my colors because everything is either black, gray, and yeah, it's always black and gray, right? So I wanted to unbox this. So let's get right into it. So you can press, um, you could press, like you could do the stickers and you can put them on. I keep calling them stickers. I don't know why. And you can place them on jean jackets, bags, pillows. Um, these are the totes, these hand um, towels, and another tote bag. So let's get right into it and let's see what we're working with. What in the world? This is to tell you, I've been having this for a while now and I've been saying I'm going to do an unboxing, but here we go. We got to do it together. So let's do this. Um, I'm guessing this is instructions. We're going to get to that in a moment. Um, And this is, oh, I just paid my nails, guys, and it just messed up. All right, let's see. Let me put this flat for right now so I can take this out. And this is my 9 by 9 press. And let's see what's in here. And that's all that it came with gonna move this to the side let's see what's in here came with a oh it came with a mat and i bought one from amazon oh well, i can always use two right oh what is this an iron-on design small so i can place this on something that is so cool Oh, look, I have pattern. Oh, guys, I didn't even know that I, I bought a bundle. I thought it was just the press, the tray, and the instructions. That's all I thought that I purchased. I didn't even know it was a bundle. So let's see here if all the designs are the same. This is so cool. I kind of want the little one. And if anybody has a little one, let me know if it's even worth getting, which is the little, little, tiny one. Oh, look how cool. It comes with this green one and then this blue and white one. I guess I could practice with this. So cool. And there's just some um, instructions. Pattern iron on. I guess I'll read this on my time. Um, because this video is probably going to be a little long. And this is the stickers. And this is the mat that you need so you can press on so you can have like a, a, a even level. So we got to put that right there. And it just came in the little tote bag that they give you so you can iron on a project so this is oh okay that i can do it with my nail give me one second oh. it's heavy but it's not heavy heavy okay so that's that let me move that over here and this is the tray so you can place it on so 
like that, I'm guessing. Oh, this way. It's weird because it says cricket here. So we're just gonna leave it like that. And oops, I just bumped my head, guys. Okay, so that's that. Now let's open this up. It says, let's do this. It says here to register your product. We have this. And we have here uh, the quick start guide, which we'll be doing this together in a few seconds. And this is what we will be placing on that bag. Safety instructions. I'll read that on my time and Cricut Easy Press, like a guidebook on how to do, like how to prep it, how to position it, and what to do. So I'll read this again on my time. So let's get started. All right, let me open this up here. Oh, look what I did, guys. Oops, I cut the hole. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, it's fine. All right, I'm going to put this on. Okay, so let's get started to do this project, which I'm excited. Okay, um, it, say get hand, it says here, get hands on with an iron arm project. Follow these simple steps to practice customizing draw a string bag using the materials provided, which is this Cricut sign here and the, the draw string bag. So we're going to power this on. And I hope my lights don't turn off because for some reason you can't have too many things on in my house because it'll turn off. So it says here, plug in and power on your press. Set the time to 290. It says set the time to 290. Okay, so we're going to set it to 290, right? So we're gonna wait till that heats up to 290 and then says set the time. Okay guys, and I'm back. So did you hear the beep? So now it's ready to go. So let's read, get prepped, find your surface. It's in the firm and flat. If it's firm and flat, you're golden. Make sure to avoid flimsy padded iron boards. If you hear somebody scream is because they're screaming outside. To protect your surface, use a, a Cricut Easy Press mat. So separately or fluffy or folded, which you guys already know. It came with one. So we're just going to do it right here. And then it says preheat base material. Um, pressing for five seconds and remove wrinkle. Okay, so we're going to for five seconds. So let's do five seconds on here to... Remove the wrinkles. Never skip this step. Trust us, it's important. So. Okay. There we go. Uh, maybe a little bit more crust. Okay. Then it says here, position and press, position and press, that's number four. Position the, the included pre-cut iron on material onto the center of the bag and shiny side up. So it's going to be like this. So the shiny side has to be up. Then the other side is like a dough. So we're gonna center it right there. 
I suck at centering, but I'm going to center it like that. Maybe I should... Right there. Then it says here, center it sunny side up. Place crew cut easy press on top. And start the timer and apply gentle press until it beats. Okay, so the timer... Right, it's for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to place this on top of it and I'm going to start it. Because you always got to press the green button in order for you to start your, your project. Don't know if you're supposed to hold it down, but I'm going to just hold it down. It's almost done. Can't wait till I can start some projects. And there go the beep that it's done. Right? Let's see what it says next. Then it says flip and repeat. So you gotta flip it on this side. And then you're going to do it for 15 seconds. Right? Pressing both sides ensure the design sticks for the long haul. So let's do this here and let's start. And it's done. And let's flip it over. Ooh. So what I might do is do another 15 seconds on this side just to make sure that it actually stuck on the bag. So I'm going to do another 15 seconds on this side. And then it just says the big finish. While the iron-on film still feels warm to the touch, test a corner. If the liner does not lift easily, re reapply and reheat. And it's done. And then it says, remove the liner. Your new crew cut drawstring bag is ready to go. Congratulations, you did it. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Did it stick? Yes, it did. Look. Don't mind the craziness that you hear in the background. Look how cute. Look, guys, I did my first project. I hope it's, it looks centered. So this is my drawstring bag that I did, guys. So this was my unboxing. It was pretty easy. I'm going to try to do, um, I have a silhouette. I'm going to try to do some of these um, printouts on my own to see if I can actually do it on a t-shirt. Um, if I do get to do it, I might do a video on it. And if you guys want to see it, let me know in the comment section below. But this was fun to do. What do you guys think? I'm going to have fun with this machine. So thank you guys for watching. If you like these type of video or you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It tells YouTube that people are watching my videos. Don't forget to share and subscribe and I'll be seeing everyone in my next video.